So previously I had made six different games utilizing Discord as my game engine. This was all inspired by the video I saw from Polymars where he did the same thing. Recently I have been lucky enough to actually talk to Polymars and he actually just finished making Snake playable on Twitter. Now he didn't outright challenge me to make a Twitter bot, but I'm going to interpret his message of you should make a Twitter bot as a challenge. So here's my attempt. My go-to easy to make game recently had been Snake due to its being single player and easy to make. But seeing as how Polymar has made Snake for his Twitter bot, I'm going to choose a different game. In the end, I chose Battleship. It's a game that was suggested before and one I heavily considered for my Discord games, but this time I'm going to be going back to my native language of Java to make this bot for two reasons. The first being I like Java. It's my favorite language, it's what I prefer to work with. The second being I want this bot to utilize pictures that it uploads as the game board to Twitter. Funnily enough, this is exactly what we just did for our my chess game bot to give it a playable picture in Discord. But anyways, before I get to that, I need to be able to send tweets out. After creating a Twitter account for the bot and getting the necessary tokens, I was able to successfully make a first tweet. Like Polymars, I'm utilizing the Twitter 4J library to interact with the Twitter API. So with the ability to send tweets out of the way, it was time to move on to making our battleship game. I designed the initial tweet abilities and the game playing separately as programming them both together quickly became very clunky. For the Battleship game, I first copied my code from the chess game board endpoint on my API and reworked it to give me a 10x10 grid. After some tweaking, I soon got this. Next, it was time to make all of the assets, more specifically the ships themselves and two indicators for hits and misses. After a false start where I made the carrier ship before realizing it was only 4 tiles long instead of the 5 it should have been, I was able to make the rest of the assets pretty painlessly. I probably spent way too much time on these for their quality, but oh well. Now that I have all the assets running on the screen for both boards, I need to randomize the placement of the boats. This is fairly simple as I just choose random x and y coordinates with a random direction and as long as those don't interact with any other boats that are currently replaced, the boat will be placed there. If it does intersect, just choose new randoms until it doesn't intersect. After some logic testing of the hits and misses on a guess, it was time to hook this game board into the Twitter code and add a game loop. So now that I had tweets going out containing the game board as an image, and it was all going so smoothly, it looked like I'd be able to get this completed in a weekend. And then Twitter stepped in. See, as a developer, you come across a lot of really weird design choices. Like Twitter and their infinite wisdom not having an API endpoint to get all the comments on a tweet. And also Polymer's inability to add polls, but that's a whole nother thing. I mean, maybe I'm just missing something, or a reason why it can't or it shouldn't be done, but I feel like this would be something that would be at the core of their API system, no? At any rate, it was a lot of doc searching and fidgeting, but I was able to figure out how to get comments for a particular tweet. To do so, I needed to build a search query that limited itself to only tweets that were sent to the bot, as a reply is technically a tweet to the user you're replying to. Then I need to limit the time frame to only tweets that happened after our initial tweet, before bumping out the number of tweets I received per query. Now that I have a list of potential tweets, I need to filter the tweets to only valid guesses. That means stripping off the at battleship gbot mention and validating the rest of the message against a regex expression to only match a to j and 1 to 10. It also threw in a validation check to only accept guesses that hadn't already been used previously in the game. But now that I have a list of all the valid guesses, all that's left to do is to find the tweet with the highest favorite count, or if multiple share that amount, choose one of them randomly. Now with Twitter able to make their selection, I just need an AI to play against. I am not the best when it comes to making AI, so my first attempt outright failed into a spaghetti mess. So then I tried to repurpose someone else's AI, but that just also wasn't doing it for me. In the end, I slapped a simple AI together that was just marginally better than pure random guessing and called it a day. I would, however, revisit the AI after letting that bot loose on Twitter for some initial testing and gameplay. The first few games ran with some issues, but soon the kinks were flushed out and Twitter was playing Battleship. I decided to make each voting period last one hour in order not to be too spammy, and with a little nudge and a retweet from Polymars, the bot soon had over 100 follows. And at the time of making this, chat has sunk two of the largest boats and are seeking out the three smaller ones while the AI has sunk only one and almost sunk another. So let me just say it though, this AI sucks. 
It takes forever to sink a ship, even after hitting a ship multiple times, and it's guessing just aren't very smart at all. So I designed an entirely new AI using probabilities. I got this idea from the AI by Graham Blanchard, where he used a probability map. Now I don't really know how his worked beyond a probability map because I didn't look into it all that closely, but it gave me the idea. What if every turn I take each ship that has been sunk yet and iterate through all of its possible positions and orientations on the map where it doesn't go off the map or intersect with a miss to see where it could be placed at? Then after all the ship's positions and orientations have been tested, I pick the positions which have the highest score, i.e. the most overlap in ships, to make my guess. This logic actually worked amazingly well. So I made some improvements, like giving a higher score when the boat overlaps with an existing hit guess that isn't a part of a sunken ship, and giving an even higher score if it intersects with multiple hits. Lastly, one speed improvement I made is to only check in two directions, because a boat at 0-0 facing to the right is the same as a boat at 5-0 facing to the left. By preventing this duplicate check, we are making a lot less checks and improving our algorithm's runtime even though this isn't really necessary. With all of this in effect, I ran the AI through 50 simulated games against itself to see how fast it could win. On average, it took just over 45 turns with the personal best of a win in only 32 turns. At the time of writing this script, Twitter is on turn 39 and we've only sunk in two ships. Now that's a pretty good AI if I do say so myself. I do, however, have to wait until after the current game is complete before I can introduce this new AI as I've made the rookie mistake of running the game locally in my IntelliJ instance and now I'm kind of stuck letting it run until the game finishes or else I lose the game entirely. But anyways, there we go. That is my Twitter Plays Battleship bot. I am extremely happy with how this has turned out. Thank you to everyone who has played and a big thanks to Polymars once again for his support and a link to his video on how he made his Twitter snake bot will be linked down below. Also down below will be the link to the source code for this bot. Just like with the Discord games, the code is free to use, free to change, do whatever you want with it, just please give credit where credit is due. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video, I'll see you guys all next time, peace out.